Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Vanessa DeBerle and today I'm going to teach you how to make your own intro using Canva. You're going to be able to make your own intro for free. I know when I first started making YouTube videos, I was so impressed that people had these intros and some of them are really amazing. And I, I looked it up and people were telling me different software I had to use and things like that. And I know there's neat things out there to buy software, but when you're new, your resources are really limited. And I really believe that you can build this business without spending a lot of money on unnecessary tools. I spend money on certain tools, I'm not gonna lie, but I have really taken the time to make sure it's on things that I need, things that are gonna help me make money. You don't have to have an intro. So now you can have one and you can make it yourself and you can do it for free and you might have a couple different ones. It's, it was actually fun to make and I'm gonna show you how I did it. And hopefully you can make one too and if you do, send it to me or post it below or um, give us your link to your one of your videos or something and we'll go ahead and look at your intro it would be fun all right now my intro is going to come up I purposely stood out here to introduce this project that I want to do to teach you how to do the intro because one of the things I want to give you a little bit of encouragement when you start something new you could read every book in the world and and think that you've got it all together but you don't you ha it's a learning process and I and I give you an example here I started raising goats about seven years ago we moved out to the country and actually my my dream was to have this great big goat farm and I realized really fast that you need to have a bunch of hands to help you with that as well so we only have eight goats I can't handle any more than that but my point is it's a learning process like every day you learn something new and a lot of times you don't know that you need to know something until something happens for instance if one of my goats gets sick I didn't read any books about how to take care of a sick goat because I didn't have a sick goat does that make sense so your business is the same way it's you're learning as you go so if something happens you hit that that hump or you hit that wall then you have to go find out how to do it so I just wanted to give you that bit of encouragement and with your business not to not to think that oh I don't know everything and 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 I'm discouraged because I'm not good as so-and-so everybody started at the same place and didn't know anything and people have built huge huge empires and you can do it too I can do it we can do it together but anyway today I just wanted to give you that little bit of encouragement that was my reason for being out here today because we're learning new things and that's what you're going to learn now how to make your own intro and have fun with it so i hope i hope this is encouraged encourages you and you do create something and you do share it because i'm really excited to see it let's jump right in there's five parts that you need to make the intro like i did you don't have to do it this way but at least it'll show you what i did the first part is i made a little video in canva um it's a video because this little heart will start to Sprink the sparkle if you look at it. See how that kind of moves? Um, it's not a, much of a video. You can do more. But I made a template for that, that, that first part. The second video we're going to make is where you come in and you ask people to subscribe, like, and hit the uh, notification button. And then the third one is I made a little thank you. And again, the little heart is twinkling just a little. You can see the diamonds in the background. Those are three little videos that I made, and I'll show you. It was really, really easy. It was so much fun and so easy, I might make different ones. Now, the other two parts is you're gonna add music, and then we're gonna do a little transition with your name, okay? So let's go to Canva and make those videos. So in Canva, you're gonna go right here under video, and you're gonna choose a video in Canva that you like and go from there. Now, I'm not gonna develop it here, but I'm just gonna show you where the resources are because you can figure that part out yourself. But there's different videos in here. It has, um, you can just kind of slip down and go through, and there's all kinds of little videos. Now, look, as you can see here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull up the design that I made. 
because like I said, I don't want to go through all those videos and just trying to look for one. But I took a video that was there. I changed the picture that they had and I just changed the words to mine. That's all that I did. And it's a video because this little heart is sparkling and the little diamonds over here. So there are different things in here. That's the one I used right here, actually. And it was free. So you want to make sure it's free because you don't need to spend any money. On page two, I, I made it myself. I took that little heart that was up here that was moving and had little, it was twinkling. Um, and I, in the background, there are some twinkling diamonds. You can't see it real well with the, the gray background. And then I just said, thank you. That's it. I just typed. So you can put anything you want on it. That's what I want to stress to you. Whatever you want to say. Um, if I had to go back and do it again, I probably would make it less wordy because a lot of people aren't going to have time to read all that. So just be short and sweet. That's it. Because really what you're trying to do is say, hey, hit that subscribe button, that like button and that notification bell. That's really what you want them to do. I found that I got tired of saying the same thing every single time on every video. And this way, it's just a little bit more consistent. It's a little bit more pleasant to watch. So that's what I did. And then I downloaded. I downloaded them one page at a time. So you see over here where it says download, it says all pages, select one page and say um, intro page and then download again and do page two and say thank you. page. If that's what you're doing, you can do three or four different pages it's up to you because you're going to put them together and edit them in your software. Now I'm using Camtasia and I, I'll show you how easy it is just to bring it in. So you're going to download those to your desktop. Okay, so take some time to make it. It might take an hour, but that's okay because it's going to save you time in the long run. Now, how did I get that little bell, the notification thing? I actually went on YouTube and looked for videos that had green screens and they had them free copyright. And because of that, I went ahead and made a video. I collected 15 of them and they're in a video that I have. So I'll put the video right above here. And you can go ahead and use that or go search yourself. Okay, so let me give you an example. You are going to use your ed, your software tool, your um, screencast tool. Uh, Camtasia does it. And you're going to videotape from my video because this is free. All right, so watch as an example. Here's number one. and so on. So you can go through, there's like 15 different ones in there. If you don't like any of those, there's other ones out there, but you can just videotape it and then use that in your little video that you're putting together as your intro. That's it. You just take it from some, but make sure all the ones that I have, I found them, they have no copyright. You're fine. Make sure there are some that say that you do need to do something to be able to use them. So be careful with that. All right. So then you're going to download that into your, um, on your desktop as well. Okay. Now, now there's one more thing that you need to do. You need to find music, just a little bit of light music in the background. So you're going to go to your YouTube channel and look down here on the left and it says copyright, monetization, customization, audio libraries, select that. I would recommend that anytime you use any music that you get it from YouTube because then you know that it's there's no copyright issues. It, even if you go to another site and find music that people tell you that you can use, I have heard of people getting in trouble for that uh, because they were misinformed. So I don't use anything that's not from here. And you can just put the type of music. Let's say you want guitar music. Um, just type in guitar and all these different types of music have guitar in them. You, it might take you a little while to go in and find the one that you want, but all of this is free and there's tons and 30 pages of them. So um, lots and lots and lots of them in there. Download that to your desktop. So let's go back to Camtasia. I've already downloaded. My music is right here. This one had a little bit of a drum beat to it. Now, when I put my, you just put this at the bottom. I actually started it. Oh, let me move it down here. I'm going to cut it off. I didn't like that beginning part and I kind of started it from here. You go up to edit and split and then I can get rid of the part that I don't want. See that? And so I just slide it over. This one here, like I told you earlier, 
is that intro. And what I did, I just played the video and you can say how many seconds that you wanted it to play. I was pointing to it earlier. It said five seconds, but if you, I think that's what it is. Exactly. It went five seconds. You don't really want your intro to be super, super long. I think mine's about 15 seconds. You definitely don't want to be any longer than that. So if you're shorter, that's good probably. Um, but this is five seconds. And then I took the next video that I made of the subscribe. Okay. I, I clicked that there and then I put my, I left a little bit of space. And what I'm going to do is when you're in this little black space here, right there, I'm going to add an annotation, which means I'm just going to write something. I'm going to put my name in there. So I'm going to take this blue one and I'm going to just put my name. You can put your Instagram account, your website, anything you want. I just use my name. I think so many people have been on YouTube that they know that we have all that stuff because <laughs> we all do. And oops, I didn't mean to turn it. Oh crap. All right. So you want to take that and put it down here in the corner. And then this is what's fun. Pick a transition. So go to transitions and not transitions, go to behaviors. I apologize. Behaviors. And how do you want that that to come into the video? So you might want it to, um, let's try sliding. We're gonna, oh, I did that on mine. You already saw that. Let's have it fly in. So you're gonna take that and put it on top of that. See, that's a transition. So what's gonna happen is that's gonna fly in and then fly back out near the end, okay? So we've got it flying in, see? It's going to stay, 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 and then it's going to fly out. Okay. I can make the, and then it's going to end right here. Now, when you get it to be the way you want, then you're going to save it like you would any other video as an MP4 so that you have it all the time. And when you want to use it again, you're going to save it in a folder somewhere. And right here, see where mine, where's mine at? It says right here, intro full right here. That's the one that I made earlier, and that's the one that I grab every time I want to use it. But let's go back to the beginning and see how this works, okay? Ready? Now, if you want to make the music, the drums in the background just a little lower, we're going to stop and lower that a little bit, okay? We don't want it to be too loud. There you go. You can, you can move it up and down. That's it. And like I said, everything, when I come back and I, every video I have, all I do is take this, I pop it in and there it is. It's all ready to go. And you can make different ones, have fun with it. Allow to, you can pay to upgrade, but I haven't because I haven't really needed to, but I'm using Camtasia. I have the link below if you would like to check it out. It Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I will see you on the next video. You have a good one.